Beyond Functions 2 is an exhibition of pottery and ceramics by two sculptors from different worlds. It took place at the Quintessence Gallery in Lagos. <music> regular at the Quintessence Gallery Lagos would notice that a few things have been tinkered with in the space to make room for these new arrivals done in different shapes, sizes and shades. <laughs> It's all to accommodate the works of art done by two creative minds from diverse worlds, Jaku Natli from Cameroon and Ato Arinze from Nigeria. They came together to put up this show titled Beyond Functions, the second in the series. Beyond Function because most people used to see clay works as usual thing to put water, to put food, to put things. And that way to see clay works is reducing the, the value of the work. So we say we have to go beyond that function of utility. So we have to show works that is going uh, out of that way to see clay works as utility, utilitarian uh, tools or utilitarian items. It's why we, we say, okay, we can do something with the title beyond function. You just have to look the work and appreciate it. Just to put your eyes inside, not water, not oil, not food. <laughs> What we are looking at is um, the art of pottery, ceramics, beyond the utilitarian purpose which they are known for. You know, here we are looking at ceramic art as art, as fine art. That is why we titled the exhibition Beyond Function. We are taking it beyond the functionality. want to create awareness, we want to make people see that ceramic is also a form of art that needs to be appreciated, you know. Then also what has changed is, I mean, more people are embracing the art, particularly ceramics, you know. Aside from this show, we also have other shows, we also plan with other ceramic artists in the country, you know. and. I know the tempo is really growing and is growing well.
A display of pottery and ceramics brings a breath of fresh air to the gallery space, which is filled with the usual paintings and other decorative items. But these two see their craft going beyond aesthetical appeal. The idea of taking it beyond the functionality also, part of it has to do with being, um, the works being thematic. At least each of the works are inspired by maybe some kind of experience by the artist or some kind of uh, events that are happening within our environment, you know. So we all choose each of the design based on the themes that we have in mind. Pottery is usually fired up with clay, while ceramists use porcelain clay to create their pieces. But the other processes involved depend on the individual. See, I don't like repeating work. So every time I'm, I ins I'm, I'm inspired, by the moment I have one child telling my work, my brain starts working. Sometimes you can't explain why you are working. It can happen sometimes when you are sleeping. It can happen if I enter in one gallery, something can in inspire me, one motif can inspire me. If I'm in a market, two people talking, it can inspire me. So it's a chemistry you can't explain 100% what is happening in the brain of the artist, yes. We human beings, the way things are happening now, the way the world is going now, we are building our own, our own jail, our own prison because we, we, we fear to do many things. You understand? We are putting a lot of limit. Or we are putting the bag where we can't put our hand and take it. Maybe you need a food, but you are dreaming about a tundra because not, your neighbor have it. Because you, don't, you can't have it. This gel, you understand, is what puts people in suicide, in depression, in the jealousy, all these things. So this hole on the walls represents all, all this lack. It's collapsing. I, the way I build the work, we are, we are, the wall we are building is collapsing on us because of that way to see things. It's not every time one gets to enjoy an exhibition that shows this aspect of visual art. So the show is on for a month. An opportunity for art enthusiasts to really have a feel of the porter's wheel and see the chiseled wonders that come out from a creative hand. I'm sure now you will look at pottery a bit differently. It can be used for so many things. We sometimes take it for granted. We're coasting home now, but I won't leave the scene without showing you a glimpse of what to expect on the next episode of Art House. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. Coming up on Art House. Year 6 students from the Lagos Preparatory and Secondary School present their final year production, The Lion King. To see that and more, tune into Art House next week. Cutting art young is always the way to go, so I'm really excited, looking forward to their performance on the next episode of Art House. And always remember that just in case you missed 
this episode, you can play catch up on any of our platforms, especially on our YouTube page. So go there and check it out. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a lovely day.